part three. Some of you will do part three, some of you will do part four, and I'm only going to spend a very short amount of time on this. Important to keep in mind that, again, a precipitate only forms if the concentration of the ions in the solution is above the solubility limits of the water. In other words, you get above that threshold where the water can't insulate the ions anymore because there's too many and they're in too close a contact, you're going to get a precipitate. So you can take two different salts, put them together at a given concentration, and see that you get no precipitate, and at another concentration you get a precipitate. That means when you got no precipitate, even though the ions were there, you weren't above that solubility threshold. Okay? So don't be fooled. Sometimes a very clear, beautiful lake or pond that looks like there's nothing there has even toxic ions at a very low threshold that you can't see. There's nothing. It just looks beautiful and maybe even have a color because most of our transition metal ions have a beautiful colors. 